Hello, this is my Friday Live. It's uh, at one o'clock every Friday, and I do demos or um, and other things. I'm gonna talk about basic concepts uh, today. So it's an exciting day. Um, my auction, my, mark, my March auction piece is up on Instagram. Here it is. It's a um, 10 by 12, and it starts at 7.50. Uh, the the regular price for something like this would be nineteen hundred, so um, it starts at seven fifty. And uh, so, if you're interested in this piece, uh, just comment on the Instagram uh, post that I have pinned to my Instagram account, or you can email me at fineart at sonic net and tell me what your bid is, and I can I can post it for you. Uh, Twenty percent of uh, whatever I get for this painting goes to COTS, which is an organization in Petaluma that works with the homeless. So this is my, I think I did de December, January, February. This is my fourth. So I've given them over 300, I think 160, 170, 200 last time. So um, I'm already contributed quite a bit to the organization. So thank you for everybody that's bidding on these pieces, helping me um, with this auction. Okay, so um, I'm going to talk about some basic concepts. Um, when I start my workshops, what we do is we start with simple block studies, colored blocks, um, uh, primary colors. So these are, this would be an example. This is a round object. It's a little bit more complex. We start with basic um, uh, block studies, and Henry Henchy came up with this way of studying this color. So we take everything out of the equation and just focus on trying to exaggerate the light dark patterns so what i say is there's a one to ten i mean this isn't like one to ten in a value range um so one would be black ten would be white now this isn't the value range we've got a white but we don't have a black so this would be maybe a three to or three or four to ten so we organize our lights and our shadows so everything in light is like a six to 10 and everything in shadow is a one to five. So a black in sunlight would be darker than a white in shadow. Or it may be the same value and it would just be a matter of a temperature change. So uh, it could be by temperature change, I mean maybe the white in shadow could be cooler and the black in, in light could be warmer. So we start here, really basic, um, and we have cut, we're exaggerating the colors, and eventually, uh, this is just the start. Um, and then we go to round objects, and with round objects, you just have a color note on the inside versus a color note on the outside, and that could create form. See how that goes in just because it's the right color? So then we go to round objects, and eventually, Sometimes uh, even we may have um, a gray day and a sunny day. So we try to study the difference in the two uh, lights because eventually, um, you know, what we're working towards is trying to paint the light key of nature. Early morning, midday, late afternoon, sunny, gray day, etc. But these are some basic um, studies that I start students off in my workshops. So how does this apply to painting? You know, how do you take this? So here is a painting. This is gonna be in the Oil Painters of America. But see, this is like a black and sunlight. I mean, it's not quite black, but this is a dark and light. So I'm relating this to the shadow, to the shadows here. So I'm organizing lights and shadows, even in, you know, it becomes more complicated as you go to like, uh, a landscape because you have maybe a lot of greens. So even in the landscape, you're gonna have a variety of greens. These are warmer greens, these are cooler greens. You know, there's some greens in the background. There's a lot of aerial perspective in this painting. There's some greens back here that, you know, are fading out. I mean, they're not as saturated, but um, there's like a green, a really cool green here. So it becomes much more complicated when you try much more complicated than let's say a red, white, and blue block or yellow block. You know, that's, so we start very simple and then we go to more complicated subject matter. And I've worked with the DreamWorks, the animators, they came to do a workshop with me twice and these are incredible artists. I had them doing block studies and they understood the complexity of these studies and how important they are. They're like, they're color studies, they're like uh, 
scales uh, that you do for music, you know, they're color scales. So no matter who you are, if you come to my workshop, if you're an advanced to a beginner, we start with block studies. And then we go to round objects. And um, here's another, you know, here to apply. Okay, so this is a white in shadow. This is a white in light. And then we've got a dark roof, see, but I've warmed up the, the light part of the, sh of the roof, and then the shadow, the shadow part is much darker than the white in, in, in shadow. So this would be an example of, see how I'm saying a white in shadow is darker than like a black in sunlight. Now these two values may be very similar, but look at how I warmed that up. So that stayed within the light planes. And even on trees, I'm just gonna put a shadow note in a light plane. And then later on, I can start developing, creating form. But um, these are very basic uh, concepts that I still apply to my more complicated landscapes. So here is just something, too, to what I say about gray days. On a gray day, unless I had a white object in this painting, the skies are usually very light. They're lighter than anything on the ground. And I also make them a little bit warmer, so the ground planes, the ground planes in light on a gray day are cool compared to the shadow notes, which go a little bit warmer. So here's a couple concepts. Um, I have a couple workshops coming up. I have one in uh, Scottsdale, uh, March 25th to the 29th. And then I'm gonna be in, um, on Balboa Island, and I have a three-day workshop from April 2nd to the 4th. So if you're interested in any of these, you can go to my website and there's links to these workshops or you can e email me at fineart at sonic.net. So great, thanks for joining me on Friday. Uh, next Friday I might do a demo. Um, I don't know, I'll see. But uh, hopefully this, uh, this auction, I've, I'm looking for a bid, uh, the first bid on this auction. And hopefully, uh, and the auction is open till next Friday noon. And we'll close the auction at noon. So, so see you next Friday.